schools, but I know there's a lot more behind it. A lot more, and a lot of people don't uh, think about it that these are 17, 18 year old kids, and uh, it's, it's really, really uh, an interesting situation. Sarasota defensive lineman Walter Dublin is one of the most sought after high school football players on the Sun Coast. Some days, college recruiters start calling him at 6 30 in the morning, and they don't stop until 10 o'clock at night. In part two of our series highlighting high school football recruiting, Lowell Galindo gives us an inside look at the life of a Division I college football. Ball prospect. It's a quote that says, Don't look up to champions, be one. Walter Dublin is not applying for college. Hello? Colleges yes. are replying for him. Hey, how you doing, coach? It's pretty overwhelming, really. Uh, just the phone calls, the letters. This is just the most remarkable thing that I have ever gone through. Well, I'm glad I'm not living in the house with him right now. Grandpa has a point. His grandson is a highly recruited Division I football prospect. So for this family, life is now lived between recruiting phone calls and the endless recruiting letters. I get enough of them. <laughs> my sophomore year, uh, I started getting the letters in the mail. My first letter was from the University of Iowa, and since then it's really picked up. Name a college, and chances are they've sent a letter Walter's way. But you can push those letters to the side not the daily barrage of phone calls. I'm not talking. Hello? Hey, Coach. Hey, Coach. I mean, it's hard to say, oh, my God, I don't want to talk to this guy, because they're just, hey, how you doing, you know? That's <laughs> probably a call right there. I've been on the phone for an hour and a half, two hours, talking to one guy. And you know, um, they have a lot to say. What are you going to commit? Are you going to commit now? Can you commit now? How about now? Some coaches just care about football. They want to win, you know, and they tell you that. If you just say you want to win and you give me nothing else but we want to win, then I say you can't have my son. The hardest part for family is often staying out of the process. And while mom would love to see Walter stay close to home, it's ultimately his decision to make. Oh, we'll make fun and, and say, you know, we want you to go to a college close to home, but this is his decision. From this experience, I just, uh, I'm hoping uh, I can get a lot from it, really. I want to have stories to tell my children and their children afterwards, you know? And uh, I mean, these, these are great stories. In Sarasota, I'm Lowell Galindo, ABC 7 Sports. No more home. I'm done with the phone. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lowell. Next week, we'll wrap up our high school recruiting series with a perspective from local high school coaches. Find out why it's not only about who you are, but who your coaches know. That's next Wednesday at 6. All right, for the second time in three years, the Palmetto Athletic Department is looking for a new football head coach. Yesterday, James Haynes submitted his resignation.